Hi everyone, welcome back to TP Tutorials. In this video, we will explore visualizing delays using float paths in Primera P6. First, let's understand what float and float path mean. Total float is the amount of time an activity can be delayed without delaying the project's end date. Float path shows the sequence of activities that share similar float values. This helps you understand not just the critical path but also near critical paths that might soon become critical if delays continue. Let's look at a sample project. In this example, activities A1000 to A1020 and A1060 form the critical path since they have zero float. Activities A1030 and 1050 have two days float meaning they are near critical. A1040 has 5 days float, meaning they are low risk right now but still important to monitor. Now let's talk about how to visualize this in Primera P6. Click on Tools, Schedule and ensure the project is scheduled with the correct data date. Then go to View, Group and Sort and choose Group by Float Path. This groups activities by their float buffers, that is, same risk zone. Optionally, use filters to highlight float equals to zero as critical path, float less than or equal to as near critical, float greater than five as low risk. You can also color code the bars in the GAN chart using bar styles for even more clarity. By visualizing float paths, you can anticipate delays before they hit your critical path. You can communicate risks better to stakeholders and most importantly, you can take corrective actions proactively. And that's how you visualize delays using float paths in Primera P6. Try out the example data we shared and apply it to your real project schedules. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.